So the latest Google Pixel launched with a really cool camera feature called Magic Eraser. And in a nutshell, basically what it does is it erases unwanted objects from the background of your photos. It's a pretty damn cool feature, but did you know that in Photoshop you could do the same exact thing in just a few clicks. Now this is gonna be a lightning quick tutorial on how to remove unwanted objects from the background of your photos using Adobe Photoshop. There's gonna be one downside to using this method, but I'll tell you more about that near the end of the video. Also, before I get to mention, then if you're new to this channel, then welcome, thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And if you're returning because you're already subscribed, well then, congratulations, my friend. You, you're not a potato. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. So now here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I have this image opened up. I grabbed this image off of shutterstock.com. Um, unsponsored here, but Shutterstock is basically a site where you can download royalty-free images and use them in your videos or content that you're creating. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this lady here on the right. And to do that, we're gonna press L on your keyboard or come up here and select the lasso tool. Now begin to click around her and do your best to avoid selecting the dude in the middle. From here, once she's fully selected, we'll right click and click Content Aware Fill. Now, on the right, you'll notice a nice preview of what's gonna be removed and how it's being filled in. So the green area is basically telling you everything that it's sampling. I don't want the guy in the middle to be sampled to fill in the area that I selected, so I'm gonna make sure that I only select the rocks. Now, once I'm done, I'll click OK, and we'll get to see our result. Baby, you're and bam, just like that. We've removed the lady on the left, but let's go ahead and do the same thing with the one on the right. Oh, by the way, you're gonna notice that Photoshop added a new layer over here. I labeled it with what it is, which is the layer covering the girl on the left. With the bottom layer selected, press L for a lasso tool and begin selecting her. Once she's fully selected, right click and select Content Aware Fill. Again, remove any green that is sampling the guy in the middle or anywhere you don't want sampled. Once you're happy with the results, click OK and bam, she's removed, I'll label that layer as well. So this method works, it's super easy and quick, but when doesn't it work? Good question, good question. Well, it doesn't work when you have like a patterned image. I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example of a photo where this wouldn't work well. Back in Photoshop, we have this image of the street and these people crossing it. Let's say we wanted to remove this group of people here. Watch what happens. We'll press L for our lasso tool, make our selection, right click, content or fill, and remove the area we don't want sampled. And... Yeah, that doesn't look good. But that's because we're trying to remove something that has a specific pattern and our eyes are very good at noticing when something just doesn't look right. But on that note, take a look at this picture that has a little bit more of a complex background. Take a look at this picture. So we have this person back here with a dog. And I'm gonna go ahead and select them, right click, Content Aware Fill. I think that looks good. And bam they are gone. So as you can see, Photoshop has a hard time removing objects that have a specific pattern type background behind them. But this is an excellent tool to use when somebody decides to photobomb your family vacation photos. Or if there's like a pole or a street sign or just any type of object that you don't want in your photos. But now that you know most of its limitations, you should be good. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you stuck around till the end, then thank you. If you haven't hit the like button, then please do that because it helps us stick it to the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, then remember to drop them down below and I'll do my best to get to them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.